Today I'm going to be putting all of these Lego boats through the ultimate test to see which ones float the best in real water. They'll be put through huge waves, terrifying jets, and the dreaded shower. We will test them from smallest to largest, and we will find out which boat is the superior floater. Let's get into it. So first off, I want to test this Egyptian boat that came with the Pyramid of Giza set. So let's drop it in there. That doesn't float. Now I want to test out this other Pyramid of Giza boat. This is a bigger one. I feel like this one might float a bit better, or but maybe not because it's more top heavy. Let's see. So those definitely did not survive. They'll go in the, the sink of shame. Next up, I want to test this raft I have here. It has a skeleton on it. I don't know why. This is just like a custom wooden raft. I don't think it's going to float the way I constructed it, but let's see. Well, I guess it, it half floated. I mean, part of it's underwater. It's kind of floating on these rods right here. So I think that that's half. It half passed, half failed. The skeleton even floats, so time to test it with the jets and the waves. <laughs> So this is the result of using the jets. The skeleton is on the bottom of the tub. He sunk. And the raft, it's still floating, but it lost its passenger. So I'm going to say it sunk. And also it capsized when the jets turned on. So yeah, it sinks. Now time to test it with showers. Well, it lost its passenger but the raft really didn't sink, so I guess I'll have to say it did technically float. This wooden raft kind of floated, so it survived the sink of shame. Next up, we're testing this scuba diver to see if he can float or maybe swim. I don't really know. Let's see if he can float. Well, he floats, but he's a scuba diver, so that's not what he's supposed to do, so. Disqualified. Next, we're gonna test these two rafts. I have the Stormtrooper raft right here, and then I have this Crooks raft right here. These are just regular Lego rafts. I think they do float, but we'll test them out here. So yeah, the Crooks raft does float, and so does the Stormtrooper, I'm assuming. Yeah, they are pretty heavy on the top, but they are floating. Let's test it with some jets. So the result of that was the criminals one sort of capsized. I guess serves them right, they were criminals. And the stormtroopers one kind of went up against the wall and it didn't capsize, but half in the water. But I'm guessing it would have capsized if it hadn't had that luck. So I guess the criminals one doesn't float with waves and the stormtrooper one kind of floats. So the results were actually exactly the same. The Stormtroopers one still did that weird sideways, not really capsized. And then the Criminals one actually did capsize again. So I feel like the Stormtrooper one is better at floating, probably because it has less weight on the top. This Stormtrooper raft did float, so it gets to survive the single shame. Can't say the same about the Criminals raft though. That's definitely shameful. Time to take a trip to the magical world of Harry Potter, and we're going to test out these two Hogwarts boats that they use to get across the lake to Hogwarts. And I think these will float. I've used these before, and they do float. Oh, this one didn't float. That's probably because he's so heavy. It just sort of caps it. Oh, that one didn't float. Huh. Maybe there's too much weight in these. Here, I'll try that again. Yeah, so it looks like Haggard's one just sort of sideways capsizes right away, but the other one still can kind of float. Time to test this one out against the waves. Well, that was very quick. This one capsized right away, so I'd say it does not float with the waves. So yeah, that does not float with the shower. So that gets a no for that. The Hogwarts boat with Hagrid in it did not float at all. Too top heavy. However, the other Hogwarts boat did float originally, so it is another survivor of the sink of shame.
Next, I want to test these two Star Wars Swamp Speeders because technically they're supposed to like kind of speed on water. I don't know how good they're going to float. We'll start by testing this one. Yeah, that does not float at all. Now time to test this Kashyyyk one. See if this floats. No, it does not. Time to give these Swamp Speeders a little action. you know what happens to these. All right, we're getting into the good stuff. We have this firefighter boat here, and I think this will float because it has that nice bottom for Lego boats. So let's just test it. Yeah, it does float. It is a little top heavy over here, but yeah, it floats fine. All right, let's give it some waves. Well, so that capsized. So it does not float with waves. Let's see how it floats with the shower. So yeah, that capsized again. And this isn't very good at floating with waves and stuff, but it does float, technically. The firefighter boat did float originally, so it has survived the sink of shame. The sink of shame is getting pretty full. So here we have the Extreme Speedboat. This is a real Lego set. Has some stickers on the side. Usually stickers and water are not a good combination. But I'm guessing this is gonna float because it has that hull. Let's see. Yeah, it definitely floats. All right, let's give it some waves. Actually, something really cool about this boat is when you move it, the repellers spin, which is super cool. I've never seen that design on a Lego ship before. Like, that's really unique. This speedboat has been the best that we've tested so far. Definitely survives the sink of shame. Next, we have the snow speeder. If it's able to land on ice, it should be able to land on water. That's how logic works. Let's try it. No way. Okay, so it's actually floating, but it's like half submerged. I don't know how this is happening. Time to give it the wings. Somehow it's still floating, I don't really know how, but basically the whole cockpit is underwater now, so we're gonna say it's sunk. Now time to test it with the rain. Surprisingly, that actually held up. I think, yeah, the cockpit wasn't really that full, so we'll say it, it kind of floats with the rain. Finally, we have the Clone Destroyer, which is a huge clone battleship for the water. Doesn't really make sense, but I just made it because I thought it looked cool and we need some more clone vehicles for this video. So let's test it out. That's a problem. All right, so I redid the ship now to make it, I guess, better to float. Let's test it out. Yeah, so it does float, it's just if you make the ship too top heavy, it won't float. Alright, so let's test the final ship with the waves. Well, that didn't work. Alright, let's test this ship with the shower. Well, I'm actually surprised about this. The biggest ship didn't actually float the best. It doesn't survive well against the waves and the shower. I guess maybe the smaller boats just work better, but yeah, that does not float. Well, that was kind of disappointing. I expected this boat to do better. And honestly, since it was the largest and I had the highest hopes for it, I actually had to redesign it because it was too top heavy the way I had it designed before. I'm gonna give it a sink of shame. 
it really did not live up to my expectations. It did float, but it was actually really difficult to get it to that point. All right, the best boat at floating is the Extreme Speedboat. So now we'll test out the Extreme Speedboat with the waves and the rain combined. Let's see if it really deserves to be the best floating boat. Time for the final challenge for this speedboat. Let's see if it can float with the jets and the shower. So there you have it guys, as you can see the Extreme Spoo Boat did not survive the final challenge. It is the best boat at floating out of the ones I have, so if you're looking for a boat that floats, I would recommend the Extreme Speed Boat, or really the Power Boat, I think that's the real name of the set. But anyway, thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed the video, feel free to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.